On this video, we're going to turn this device into a portal to any country that you want. We're going to install VPN on a router, which will turn this thing into a gateway. So whatever device you connect to this thing, either it's your phone, your smart speaker, your laptop, your TV, every device that connects to this Wi-Fi or LAN will actually connect to that country. Either it's Europe, America, Asia, anywhere of your choice. So come, I'll show you how. If you're fighting with GEO restrictions, then this video is for you. And it's not just about restrictions. You may be overpaying for your VPN service too. Yes, this video is gonna be about VPN and maybe at the end of this video, you will be saving some money because quite often VPN services will have their limitations, how many devices you can connect. So on this video, I'm gonna look at VPN features that GL iNet router can offer. On the previous video, I was showing you how to install Tailscale. That's a free VPN service that allows you to connect your home and work. It's advertised that this router can support 30 or more VPN services, which is an amazing feature because you are not anymore limited to this seven device or five device limitation that requires you to pay more for a subscription to get more devices connected. With this feature, you connect your GEO-based VPN to your router and then any device that connects to this router has access to this VPN. It is like a cheat code. There's no limit on how many devices can connect to this VPN network in your home. And it's not only about the number of devices that can connect, it's also about what the devices can connect. Because normally you would need to install this VPN application on your phone or your laptop or a TV to get access to this VPN service but some devices do not allow installing anything. And that's your Google Home, photo frames, and all sorts of IoT devices. So now they can connect to this VPN through the router. I chose to install Proton VPN on this router because it seemed to be not only the cheapest, but also most secure option. With VPNs, you need to be careful. Do your research, don't just get a random VPN. You need to make sure that you can trust that VPN because you will be connecting to a server alongside with other people as well. Because VPN is a bunch of servers around the world that you connect to as a window, as a portal. And some of those servers are stealing your data. So be careful before you choose the VPN. So the router that I'm going to be using is GLBE9300. It is a very modern Wi-Fi 7 router. If you want to go for a different router, just make sure you have this feature available, something called OpenVRT. But enough of talking, let's try and set it up. So with GLINET, once you're in, choose WireGuard Client. I'll give it a name Proton. Now we need a WireGuard configuration file. So if you want to choose different VPN service, you can just click on those and simply log in. But if you have a specific uh, VPN, you may need to download this configuration file. So we'll need to click manually add configuration. So there'll need to be a name and public key. So if your VPN is not on the list, you can Google your VPN name, WireGuard configuration file, and you're probably gonna find a guide. So in my case, I go to accountprotonvpn.com, click downloads, scroll down to WireGuard configuration, give it a name, choose platform Linux, then choose what country, what server you wanna to connect to, then click create on the country you chose. Then you'll see pop up like this, click download. Then you can go back to admin settings, give it a name and paste that text that you downloaded. And then you can click apply. Then after importing this key, click start. And now simply connect to this router all your devices that need this VPN access. I'm connecting my laptop. You may be connecting your Google Home or some IoT devices. Okay, let's test our IP address. And you can see that my location changed to Washington. And now you don't need to find those geo restrictions anymore. So again, when you choose VPN, make sure that there is a no logs policy. You'll be surprised how many VPNs are storing your data. If you want to repeat what I did and you're wondering where to get this router, you can go to storeglinet.com and you can grab one of these for $170. I'll add the link in the description. Otherwise, if you want to watch about Tailscale, the free VPN option to connect your remote location to your home or office, then you can look up a video of free VPN, nine NAS brands. I'm showing there how to connect Tailscale to any NAS that you potentially might have. And it's not only for NAS, it's also for computers and other devices. Otherwise, this has been a very basic video how to turn your router into a VPN hub. There's a lot of other features that this router is offering. There is plugins section that allows you to install 
hundreds of different things. So next video, I want to install something called Samba or SMB, which will allow me to turn this router into a NAS server. So not only you can have a router, VPN, you can now also have your own private home cloud. Either it's for your Dropbox alternative or for backing up your photos and cancelling your Google photos, iCloud photos. After turning this into a NAS, you can cancel so many subscriptions. Otherwise, just let me know what you want to see. Do you want me to turn it into a NAS? Maybe into a network print server? Multimedia server? The world is your oyster. Do let me know. Otherwise, thank you for watching and have an amazing day.